on today, we got some Xenoblade news for you. That's right. Uh, and this isn't just talking about the news that's been kind of flying around for the last day or so. It's more like an update to that news because there was a voice actress who spoke out and there's been confusion about whether or not she confirmed a new Xenoblade was in the works. Uh, but now we have some independent sources that are uh, going next level with this. So we're going to talk about that. But before we do, i got to remind you, we are giving away a Switch OLED system. Uh, to enter for a Switch OLED, all you need to do is, well, subscribe to the channel. That's it. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Just please subscribe. Uh, and that is how you enter. The winner will be announced during a live stream in early October. All right, so before we get into the story, I, I do want to apologize for not being on camera uh, and all this stuff. We have a, a family emergency going on right now. Um, I, I'm not leaving yet, hence why I'm still here. I'm not here to do this. Specifically, I'm waiting on the availability of my parents, but my fiance is getting emergency gallbladder surgery today, not something we obviously planned on. She's been in the hospital all day, and now I'm just waiting until my parents are free to take my kids. The surgery isn't still for a few hours, so I will be there for all of that and overnight if she has to stay overnight, which I'm assuming she does. That being said, um, let's get into the actual news on why you're here because nobody cares about my personal life. You guys care about Nintendo and how it affects you. So this article is on Fanbyte and it was written by Imran Khan. And I'm just going to read this article for you so you have the full context. And I'll obviously link to the article down below so you have a chance to check it out yourself. In June of this year, Xenoblade fan held a particularly significant interview with actress Jenna Coleman. Coleman, who is primarily known for her roles as Clara Oswald on TV institution Doctor Who and Jasmine Thomas on the soap opera Emmerdale, was also Melia in the first Xenoblade Chronicles over a decade ago. She appeared in a video chat with the YouTube channel Din's Meteorite, a smaller gaming channel with around 33 subscribers, to talk about several subjects including her time spent on Xenoblade Chronicles and the recent expanded Switch remaster, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. While the interview was published two months ago, it only recently caught the notice of social media, in large part because of an accidental slip of the tongue from Coleman. Musing about her first role in Xenoblade Chronicles, Coleman said, God, when was the first game? Ten years ago? It was a long time ago. I did pre-Doctor Who days, and they did the second one. They asked me to come back, and I think they're going to do another. Coleman paused. Common knowledge? Don't know. Yeah, I think they're going to do another. Not sure if I'm allowed to say that. Coleman's quote has caused rumors to stir over the weekend of a new Xenoblade Chronicles currently in development. According to our sources here, we can indeed confirm that to be the case. Moreover, the game is nearing its final stages of development, but its release date may, may be held back for any number of reasons. The third Xenoblade Chronicles game in development at Monolith Soft is a sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles 2, currently the best-selling game in the series. The ending of the trilogy takes place in a far-flung future with few Few returning characters who have long outlived their human counterparts from both Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This is why Coleman, who plays Melia, would be aware of a third game as her character is returning and she more than likely has recorded voice acting for it. According to our sources, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 was set to be revealed earlier this year and may still be announced before the end of the calendar year, but has had a difficult time with pandemic development and optimizing the game for Switch. The game is aiming for more character models on on screen at once than any previous title, amount, accounting for both playable characters and enemies. This shouldn't come as a galloping shock, as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition's expanded content was titled Future Connected, indicating that Monolith Soft was looking forward to the future of the series. If all goes well, the game could be released as soon as the first half of next year, delayed from its original and now exceedingly unlikely Winter 2021 target. As always, things can change, and no in-development game should be considered as a guarantee to be exactly the same as described, or even see a release per se. And that's obviously just hedging your bets that, hey, look, just because this is happening things could change and could get canceled this is obviously a massive deal for xenoblade chronicle 
fans. Now, obviously, this isn't Xenoblade Chronicles X, and there have been four. You know, this would make the fourth Xenoblade Chronicles game if you don't count Future Connected as its own game, which you shouldn't. It was add on, you know, free content add on to a definitive edition of the original game. But still, Xenoblade Chronicles X is a side story. This is the main brux of everything. This is the big kahuna, the ending of the trilogy of Xenoblade Chronicles. That doesn't mean there won't ever be another Xenoblade game, by the way. This just means this. This particular story arc is going to finally close and taking place far off in the future i find to be rather interesting now i don't want to spoil too much about the ending of xenoblade chronicles 2 if you haven't gotten there yet uh but it's very interesting that they're choosing to go way in the future for this I, i'm very curious what's happened to some of the main characters the land the story how things have progressed and obviously if you look at just how even visually the game has progressed from the first uh, Xenoblade Chronicles of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 to even the DLC to the Definitive Edition. It's very apparent that they are doing a lot of polish on this game, a lot more than they were, you're used to seeing uh, from Xenoblade. Because uh, really the first game and the second game, and even X, didn't have a ton of polish at launch. But this one appears that like it's going to, and that is huge. So credit to Fanbyte. Obviously, big credit to Imran Khan. He used to also write over at Game Informer uh, before moving on to Fanbyte. So, uh, yeah, this is really, really good news. Uh, and we'll have to wait and see when it gets announced. Apparently, it was supposed to be a game coming this year, like this winter. The big holiday game was going to be this, which is fascinating to me, considering that obviously it's, it wouldn't have been a big holiday game. It's only there's Pokemon. That's going to be a bigger seller. But still. 2.5 million, that's like the that's the best-selling game in the franchise. That's Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Can Xenoblade Chronicles 3 top 3 million? I have no idea, but I am forever hyped. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And, oh, man, it's been a little hard trying to keep my energy high. I hope you guys understand. Um, but uh, be hyped. Catch you guys tomorrow. There will not be a live stream tonight uh, due to my fiance's surgery. Uh, just so you guys are aware, our, t our typical Monday night stream won't be happening, at least as far as I can tell at this point. I have no idea how late I'm going to be at the hospital or if I'm going to spend the night or what's going on. So thank you guys for all your thoughts and everything. I know some of you guys are going to be keeping uh, my fiance at the forefront of your thoughts. Um, I, I don't have a problem with that. Obviously, keep my children at the forefront of your thoughts as well because they're obviously very concerned. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.